Hi everybody, time for a quick update on Railfan Atlas. Since the last time I cranked out a little video showing what was going on here, we now have, uh, we've greatly increased the number of photos on the map. There are now about 126,000 images on the map from all over the place. I'm super excited about that. There's pretty decent global coverage. Um, we've added a couple of other little goodies too. I'll show you how those work. The most obvious thing um, you might notice when you're looking at the maps here is that um, we are now showing images. Uh, it's doing a much better job showing images uh, all across the entire map instead of just clumping them together where the most popular images um, were taken. You'll also notice that it takes a little bit longer for the map to load um, because it does a whole bunch of little searches. It'll do a little box here and say, what's the most popular photo here? What's the most popular one here? And so on and so forth. In any event, since it's doing all those little sub-searches, it takes a lot longer um, in some instances for those uh, for the map to render. You'll notice that the little there's a little gear or a cog icon that pops up there when it's executing the search. Uh, it takes a long time for that to run now. If that takes too, if it's taking too long for you, turn the count down a little bit, and that uh, that search will go much quicker. If we zoom in onto uh, any particular area now. Um, again, notice we've got the, the cog indicator telling us how long it's taking, and we are getting a much broader sampler of all of the different um, railroad photography opportunities that might exist across the whole map instead of just the most interesting ones uh, that happen to be in the area. Another feature we now have is geolocation, either using GPS or the location of your computer or phone or tablet or whatever, click on the little geo uh, location icon there. And right now it just zoomed into uh, more or less where I am located. I live down here uh, in this area here. It did a pretty good job of figuring out uh, where I am even though my computer is not uh, connected to a GPS device. So there you have it. Lots of pictures. Um, we've got geolocation. Um, another thing is the mobile interface is greatly improved, so if you're on a phone, um, your, your view might look something more like this. Um, again, you can click on the little GPS button, it'll center you on your location, um, and you'll have a good idea of what's going on. Another goodie that we have um, also added here is the ability to do a search by a place name. So if you're interested in the futuristic monorail at the Minnesota Zoo, for example, you could type uh, search for Minnesota Zoo and search for that. It'll zoom you right in there, and now you can see that uh, those fabulous photo opportunities that exist there. Likewise, it uses uh, Google's place searches, so you can do broad search terms. You can search for your address if you wanted to look for, um, I, someone was asking about like train stations um, in London, UK, for example, if you do a search there, it'll highlight um, what Google will highlight what it thinks are the major railroad stations in London and uh, zoom you out to, to that extent and you'll get kind of a good overview for what's going on in that region. It's pretty slick. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like it. I'm glad it's been getting as much support as it has. Um, if you're curious about contributing your photos, click on the little question mark icon there. And I've got, uh, you can either add them to the Railfan Atlas group, or if you've got um, images that are already geotagged and part of um, some of the other groups that are out there, we are uh, monitoring a quite a few of these different um, Railfan photography groups, and all of the geotagged photos in those groups will eventually be included on the site here. Thanks for taking a look. I hope it is a useful tool for you.